What is up, Carter's Life? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm standing here inside of the TMR house, and today is gonna be super fun because I have a whole plan of what we're gonna do out in the backyard. So let's get started. Opening the door. We got the little red Japanese Joy Pop ready to go. We're gonna be driving out of the garage and getting into something. It's gonna be pretty cool. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but uh, let's just go find out. To the garages we go. The Timur house is huge, it's over 100 acres, and to get to the garages, I literally had to drive almost three quarters of a mile. It's kind of a long distance. Luckily, I love to drive, so it's a lot of fun. Here we are at gate number one, and now through gate number two. We made it down to the brown garage. As you guys might have seen, this is the new toy. It's an absolute dinosaur. Like, it just looks like a dinosaur. Maybe I should paint it to literally be like a dinosaur. But we're, I want to use that today. It's brand new. We haven't done anything. We literally pulled it off the trailer and just parked it over there. And this thing is so big. It makes the giant monster truck. It makes this guy look small. It'd be cool to park them side by side. Into the brown garage we go. Oh man, I love coming in here. We have a lot of toys, but I'm not here for any particular toy. I'm here for more of a tool because I need the gator because we need to get the trash pump over to one of the lakes because we're gonna try to be draining that. Once it's drained, we can use the big dinosaur to try digging it out. So let's fire this one up. Yes. I love vehicles. I love driving everything. And it's literally like the dreamland to just have vehicles for days of all shapes and sizes. It's probably my, literally my favorite thing ever to do. Make sure we keep this closed. If all goes to plan today, we might be able to fire this thing up and actually put it to use for the very first time. That is the goal, but we have to drain the lake first. So let's hop back in the gator. And we're dropping back up to the house. This time I'm going the back way. Check this out. The team our house has a ton of different trails. We're going the back way back up to the house, across the bridge, onto the island to go get the pump. this down onto the ball so we can tow this trailer. I might have lined it up perfectly. Let's see. We might be off about an inch, but I think we can just wiggle the trailer a little bit. It's not too heavy. Okay. So we are pretty much all the way down. Trailers can definitely be a little bit of a challenge. It's a little bit of a weird angle too. Okay, so I should be able to pull the pin, lift that, lock this out of place. But I do need to get this down. Okay, well, she doesn't want to go. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit and then try clipping it on. Pull up the wheel chocks. Let's pull forward and see what happens. Here we go. Now let's see if this will go down. Oh, why is that? Is it the wrong ball size or something? It feels so tight. Oh wait, well, okay, well, duh, that needs to come out first. But it still feels like it doesn't. Oh, I see what the problem is. I got it all hung up. We got the pin back in, we're all ready. Let's load up. Look at this. That's funny. To the pond we go. Oh man. Level 
Let's go. We're going this way. I'm taking a new path every time I drive, which is super fun. This one's scenic because it's right next to the beautiful lake. But we're going out to the front pond. Oh, I forgot I had a trailer on the back. I should probably go a little slower. That thing is bouncing. Oh, we might be uh, losing some cargo. We are here at what I call the front pond because it's the pond, well, at the front of the property, right against the driveway on the road. It's not much of a pond. It's honestly a mud bog. It's like a bounty hole. We drove the monster truck through here twice. The first time we put the monster truck in, it was romping and it just swallowed it. It actually caught the monster truck on fire. It's on fire, it's on fire. Get out of there. Fire extinguisher. The second time we came in from over here and that actually worked. Oh, there's Matt. Yes. I guarantee you're gonna see him in probably 30 seconds on this vlog. He's gonna be rolling up. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. The monster truck did claim the bounty hole, so we have this marked off. I think it's now it's time to drain it so we can dig it out so it can be a beautiful pond once again. That's where this thing comes in. I didn't really show you or explain to you guys what this is, but this is a trash pump bolted onto a trailer. These are bins of like accessories, and it's basically like a fire truck pump. It's pretty similar. It puts out a ton of water and you can use it to pump things. The last time we used this, we filled the back of the dump truck full of pool water and we went swimming around in the field. That was super cool. Comment down below if you guys remember that vlog. This soon to be pretty pond has a natural drain that just comes out of here and down the stream. So all I have to do is pump the water from there and just put it right here and let it trickle down the natural causeway. So let's try lining up the pump and see if it'll fire up. Oh, and just like I said, look, he was right on cue. We got Matt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, let's see what he's doing. You guys are right on time. I'm speculating whether you'd be out here making a big mess by the time we got back or not, but no, nope, you've restrained yourself. So I flew over the hill and I wanted to see the big arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're close. I think if this runs, I think we'd be pretty dry, certainly by tomorrow. Oh, if not in maybe in like two hours. It should pump this, yeah, two hours. It's kind of. It's not great. much water, it's not very deep. Did you make, did you check how much fuel was in it? There's some, and then I grabbed that old jug that was on the back of the house that's oh, still okay. been there. Is that yeah. premix or is that regular? I don't know. Ooh, that's probably premix. It looks kind of dark. That's premix for sure. That looks like it. It's so hard to tell, it kind of feels like it. I have an idea where we may only need a suction hose, which would be great. Oh, well, and just spray it. Just spray it. <laughs> I'll park it. That works. I want to park. Oh gosh. Okay. I want to park it as close as I can to right here without it falling off the ledge. So we hopefully can just spray the water straight out. Okay. Does that feel sturdy? Kind of. That's it. Might. That's probably fine. It's hard to see what's going on with these hoses. Um, but Matt quickly pointed out, we're missing the suction hose. These are the output hoses. So this is kind of like your garden hose. The suction hose is more like this, where it's rigid and strong, like a straw, so you can suck on it. And it'll actually pull the water up. This is way too small. So we gotta go find that. I need to see if this old girl's gonna run. I mean, it's not really that old, so it, it, it should start. <laughs> Haven't used it in a while, but it's not that old of a machine. <laughs> So I guess let's just pull it, because if that doesn't run, we're not getting anywhere. Man, all this hose on here. It's good for storage, but this is challenging to even get to the engine. There we go. Step one, click that to on. Step two, I think we got to put the, well, the fuel was left on. That's this lever. That's not great. You want to store it the other way. And then choke. We want to switch to run on the left. Throttle probably down. Okay, that's up. We'll try a few pulls here. Oh my gosh, I can't even like see. Oh, second pull, amazing. Okay, then we're gonna put this to run. Rev it up a little bit. Oh, we got some old water coming out. That is so nasty. Oh, it's like a milkshake. Oh. Okay, that's disgusting, it looks Oh, it honestly looks like dog puke. Well, that's just old rusty water sitting in the actual pump. It's not really that big of a concern, but you don't really want water to be sitting in there. But that is where it comes out. 
We gotta unscrew this to prime it anyway, so we gotta fill it with water. Oh gosh, that is on there tight. Man, that is so tight. Okay, I'm gonna need a tool. There we go, that's the suction hose. So it goes on the left side, coming out towards the Ranger. This is the suction end with the basket, nice rigid hose. This keeps it from sucking up like leaves and stuff. So we just gotta stick this down in here. Mm. I think it's gonna be long enough. Oh, this is perfect length, I think. Cause you can always just dig this a little deeper here yep. and stick it down in there. And yeah, I think we'll be good. So now we gotta see if we can prime it and get it going. That's the worst That's part the of this. That's the worst part. <sighs> the hardest part about getting this pump going is priming the pump itself with water. Hopefully that's enough. The pump was sitting full of water. It came out like a motion. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. So he's gotta pour all this water in here. Okay, this funnel is not really worth it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, it's gonna get wet. It's a pump, so. All right, that's full already. I'm gonna prime the rest of it runs. Watch her not start this time. Now that you guys are watching. Uh-huh. Get a second pull, which is pretty sick. It's been a reliable engine, so. Five of those Home Depot buckets. Nah, that doesn't sound right. It might be like 60 gallons a minute, do the math. It's like a bucket or two for a second. It's crazy. That's a lot of water. So if we look on this side, we should just see this just slowly lower down and drain. I guess I'll set up a time lapse and see if it works. This is really cool. This is quite a big flow. Seeing it squirt out, it's hard to know how much that is, but when you see it compared to how it was, this is like a full-blown heavy rainstorm kind of flow right here. It's time to bring the big dinosaur over, so Matt's climbing his way up. The monster truck, because we gotta move this first, because it's right in the path that we're gonna be taking the dinosaur. See how long it takes to get her to go. We're trying to fire up the old girl. Oh, it's a cold start. Come on. I don't think it's running on all Come cylinders. On. Come on. Ah. So close. Is that like two cylinders or? That was like two cylinders. Maybe one. Come on. Well, you know, there you go. That's Doom, that's doom Buggy in right now. Yeah, but this at least it always gets there. Always gets there. It's way better now that it's a little warmer. When it was cold, that was... Right. Here we go. Moving the... Oh, he might have it. Keep going. Keep it rolling. You can see all the drive shaft. Come on, monster. She runs just fine. It's just an old carburetor engine and it's hard to go to the start for the first time. Every once in a while, like... Yes! There she goes! And just like that, we got 
old monster out of the way so we can get the dinosaur walking up and around this path. Man, just walking up close to this thing, you start to see just like how big it is. Like it's pretty big. It's in its lowest setting. I mean, the bucket's literally on the ground, but it's still that tall. Just craziness. Three steps, not as many as the monster truck, but it's up here. Yeah, it's up there. We should get the skiddy and the dump truck out just so that they're, you know, making a presence. Cold start. That was a little easier than the monster truck. It is the lamest cold start ever. All it is, is just sounds like you're starting up the vacuum cleaner. It's so quiet. Did Chris say we gotta warm this, <clears throat> warm her up before we get moving on it or let it sit? for a minute or just just don't like rev it up real hard but it it's got smarts in it it's not going to let you run it hard uh before it warms up so yeah you can just run it that's not going to hurt anything yeah i think i would like idle up just a couple of clicks and just run it like that until it warms up yeah and we're off pushing on these should make us move forward you can turn oh. off the beat but we're backwards right now. All right, well, we're off and cruising. How's the tracks? Sounds like a tank. That's not that bad. Woo! Well, we're moving. I'm gonna try to go as much of a straight line as possible. So that way, uh, we just don't tear up the grass as much. But Matt's probably got a better angle back there. And I'm sure it's looking pretty ugly. All right, we got a little bit of terrain coming up here. Click it back into turtle mode. I'm gonna try to pivot on this gravel drive here. Okay, so we gotta kinda... It's so confusing, I gotta rotate because we're technically sitting backwards. That's a little bit messy over there. Oh, look at how much dirt just ripped up. Oh my gosh. This thing is, it, it's an excavator with just the tracks. It literally is. In a straight line, it's not that bad. It looks worse than it is, it's not bad. It but, is really bushy too. So. But this is bad well this is what the skid steer is for the skid steer i can come in and smooth that back out so it's just the way it is all right we're off and moving kind of mostly in a straight line that's the straighter we go the better we're going to be on the ground which just means we'll have less cleanup to do when we're done with this project otherwise we're just going to be tearing might happen regardless, honestly. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, is it just looking, what is it doing? You might want to come a little further out first. Is it just wrecked? It's just, it's just like peeling the grass off the ground. From this perspective, I can see this portion of the track quite literally just pushing, like sliding. Yeah. It's it's getting, it's just like peeling the grass off like a skin. I guess we just keep going. Yeah. Just get her there. Just doing the best I can. Oh man, the thing sounds so cool. Just go, 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 go. It sounds like a military tank just rolling like in an old like war movie or something. It's like vibrating me a little bit too. I think we're, all right, we're going full speed right now. It's on money mode, full rev. Straight line, this is as fast as it'll go. It's probably like six miles an hour. It's as fast as like a fast power walk. I'm sure it's leaving some pretty big trails behind right now. This is the softest ground right here. It's kind of funny because I'm driving with my feet, like my hands are free. It's kind of silly because uh, you're supposed to be able to drive and operate the stick at the same time. Oh no. <laughs> We have an error. Check fault. Check engine. We got to check. Real close to the asphalt. I know. We got to check engine light just came on. Oh no. Yeah, that's this could be bad. Yep, and it's that's fun. It's flashing at me. What does it mean to check engine? 
<laughs> it mean like, it could mean anything. Is there a way that like it tells us? I don't know. Dash? I wonder. Uh, Chris would know better than me. Oh, you're changing that up there. Uh, oh, I see. So the skid steer will tell you error codes when you get them. I don't like the look of that flashing light. <laughs> oh boy, we might have jinxed ourselves. Oh shoot. I would say I would say to keep running it because if it's something bad, it'll tell you to shut the engine down. Let's see if I get something more minor. Minor. Engine yeah. fault. Check engine. It's just yeah. It is a general check engine light. I wouldn't worry about it too much at the moment because it. Uh, my guess is it's something fairly minor. Usually it'll tell you to shut it down if it's uh, bad. Okay. Well, we got all that sorted out. Let's uh, let's keep going. the pond in front of us. We do have a check engine light, which is, I don't know how big of a deal it is. I'm, I'm a bit worried about it. This is pretty exciting because this is the first time we have it here. We can see how far it reaches. Yeah, they get, move some, move some, move some dirt. Give the inaugural reach. Yeah. All right, here we go. My favorite part of this machine is that it just reaches so far. Oh my gosh, does the camera even show this? Oh, <laughs> that's so far. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm rocking a little bit. Okay, that's bottom. I think we're scooping. I'm kind of underwater, so I don't know. I'm going for just a big one. Oh, I got something. Oh, we got something. I don't know what to do with that. Should I just slop it over there? I don't know, put it, put it right there or something. <laughs> I would bring it in and then spin. All right, let's try to bring this thing in without dropping it. There we go, we're getting somewhere. Oh, <laughs> all right. Nice and easy now. Oh, that is sloppy. That is sloppy. I don't know where we should put it. We're kind of committing to a lot by dropping this somewhere. Where do you want it? Right there? Oh! <laughs> oh, Matt got slopped on. And that's the official first scoop done in the new excavator. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm definitely rusty, but I mean, that was successful. I wanna take a look. How does it feel? Feels great. I'm rusty, I gotta finesse the little, you know. Look at that. Let's go look you at got it. This is giving me deja first, vu. The first pile of dirt. Yep. Oh, that looks exactly like what we had at my parents' house. Yep. Identical. And when, it, when it hit the ground, it slowly splashed everywhere. I saw it just bloop. Okay, well, if we put that in the dumpy, it is going to just be like we got it drained. Because we get a lot of water out of that. When I scooped it and I was going slow, it was gushing water. Like tons and tons. Oh, yeah. yeah, for you. A little more, little more time consuming to let it dry, but uh, well, we'll I mean, make less overall mess. We might probably just get the water off and then it's dry enough. Because that was so. underwater still by a uh, foot. Yeah. But that looks like good quality material. It is though. good dirt. Oh wait, it's dry. Yeah. Whoa. Deep enough, you got to dry. Wait, this is like blue clay. Oh, whoa, what? That is an what interesting. Is this? It's blue. Weird. That this is, is weird. a very interesting yeah. color. And it's dry. It's like sandy. Yeah, that's really interesting stuff. We'll have a blue motocross truck. How sick would that be? Yeah, look at this. Got, got... People pay good money for these river rocks. Too. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like a... It's like sand, but it's also like... It looks like mint toothpaste. It does. That's really interesting stuff. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Man, that would... I don't know. Well, look, you found trash. I know. There's going to be a lot of trash in there, too, I think. I think, I think we're gonna find that a lot is of cool. Vehicles. Here goes Matt taking a turn at it. Look at this thing from the outside. It's crazy. It's so tall. Let's see how he does on his inaugural scoop. 
<laughs> it reaches so far. You can't even see the machine way back here. There we go. All right, so that's bottom. A couple feet deep still. Oh, that's lots of leads. Lots of leads. All right, it's all about that joystick control and that finesse. Oh, oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, gosh. Driving these things is like a claw machine. It's just like, it's a lot of skill, but you can get really good at it. And it's amazing what you're capable of when you spend a little time. You can like, basically, it's just insane. There we go. Oh, 